Welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew. In today's video, we're gonna make the most budget-friendly strawberry tower using these planters that I got from Dollar Tree. They're only $1.25 for each planter. So we're gonna plant a whole bunch of strawberries on this T-post, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So stick around. So what I'm gonna be doing is using a one and a half inch hole saw, and I'm gonna be cutting a hole um, in the bottom of all these so they could fit right on top of this T-post. And the T-post is gonna give this a lot of stability because these are very thin, and if we just stack these uh, without anything holding it up in the middle, they would likely blow over in the slightest windstorm, so we don't want that to happen. Also, I did another video on setting up these Dollar Tree uh, garden towers, and I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen that one. But in this one, we are going to uh, use the T-post. In that other video, I used a piece of rebar. I think I would prefer the rebar over the T-post because this T-post has some little lips and stuff, more things that the plastic could get caught up on. But I already had these in the ground here as a, as a fence line, so I'm gonna use them, what I have already, instead of trying to dig this up. So we're gonna do the best we can and uh, get this started. So here we go. If you haven't seen these before, here's what they look like on the inside. They're not super deep, but they're deep enough to plant a lot of things, especially strawberries and herbs, things like that. So what you're gonna want to do is push out these holes on the bottom. I'm just gonna use a pocket knife for the drainage holes. Um, I might not do every hole because what I've learned about these planters is because they're so um, shallow, um, they need to be watered very frequently. They dry out very easily. So maybe if I only do like one hole per each um, section here, maybe it'll hold on to moisture a little bit easier. So I might not uh, poke out every single hole for this time. And like I said, I'm going to put the hole saw in the middle so this could sit on top of that T-post. So here we go. So the key I learned with the hole saw is that instead of going um, to the right, make sure you put it um, to turn to the left so you won't, um, it doesn't tear this plastic as much when you go that way. that nice clean hole we're gonna do that to every single one here I'm hoping I'll be able to do 12 high because I think that's how many I grabbed so yeah that's a key thing make sure your your uh, hole saw is turning to the left lefty loosey not righty tighty I should make sure that these fit through here, huh? Oh, look at that. That fits perfectly over that. Cool. So our next step is gonna be filling these up with soil and then planting strawberries. One last thing I forgot to do is poke out these um, drain holes. I'm just gonna, yeah, Ooh, I poked a little too hard. I'm just gonna do one hole per each because these tend to dry out very easily. So I'm not gonna give it um, more of a reason to dry out. I'm just gonna poke one hole in each with this knife and, and that's it. So hopefully it'll do better at holding on to moisture. Okay. So here in this wheelbarrow, I've mixed some peat moss and compost. And that's what I'm going to use to fill up these containers. I'm just going to mix it real good because the compost is on the bottom and the peat moss is on top. And get out any bad stuff you don't want in there. Rocks or pieces of plastic for some reason are in this peat moss. 
peat moss is really good at holding on to moisture. So that's why I'm adding this to soil. Looks like there's also a bit of perlite in here. Perlite's good for um, drainage and stuff like that. So this is a nice looking mix. See any rocks in here, we'll get rid of the rocks. All right, now I'm gonna fill up these containers. Uh -huh. Hopefully we have enough soil here to fill. Good. I'm going to move this over here. All right, there's our first uh, layer filled in pretty good. I'm just going to keep uh, filling them in as I fill them up, and we'll see how many um, towers that we can stack on top of each other here. So now that I have this pot here, um, I could just wait until I have all the things, uh, all the pots filled up, but I'm going to put in these um, strawberries. I just got these strawberries from MI Gardener. I think it costs like $8.99 for 10, 10 plants. Um, they're all bare root strawberries. I got two different kinds. I got um, All Star Strawberries, which is a June bearing um, strawberry. And I also got 20 of the Mara de Bois Strawberry, which is an, an ever bearing uh, variety. So that will produce strawberries all throughout this, the growing season. I never had um, that kind of strawberry before, so I am excited to have them. But they just went through a long shipping process, a couple days, I wanna get these in the ground and I want them growing as soon as possible. So I'm gonna plant my all-star strawberries here. And I have 30 of them, I believe. I'm gonna get them planted. Some of these look really good. I want strawberries as soon as I possibly can. Because we love strawberries, don't we, Lucy? Yeah. There you go. That was a very easy, simple strawberry tower that only cost, so this one we did nine high. Nine times 125 is what, 11 or $12, maybe something like that. Plus the cost of the strawberries, which was, uh, I said, $8.99, so 27 plus 12, we're around $40 here for, you have 27 strawberries in here. This is gonna produce so much. Now this could be a lot cheaper in future years if you were to save um, the runners from these strawberries after you purchase it the first time. The strawberries produce so many runners and you can root those runners and then create endless amounts of strawberry towers in years and years to come. In fact, this is the, um, I think today's the, this is the only tower I'm gonna get put up because I'm losing daylight, but I'm gonna put up a second strawberry tower over there with the other ever-bearing variety of strawberries, the Mara de Bois strawberries, but I'm running out of daylight for today. But 
I just wanted to show you how simple it is to plant strawberries in one of these towers and you could do it very, very affordably. So just wanted to share that because my other uh, video on the Dollar Tree um, stackable planters is becoming one of my most popular videos. So here you go. This is a really easy way to use them and do some gardening on a budget and grow a ton of strawberries or whatever else you want to plant. I'm probably going to do a separate one with herbs as well. So that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And subscribe to our channel if you're new here. I'd really appreciate that too. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.